let's see a question from definite integration it's an important question so let's uh, begin with the solution so we always like to see question in terms of uh, tan inverse so you know that uh, cot inverse of x is tan inverse of 1 upon x k so we can use that idea here also and we can rewrite this as 0 to 1 tan inverse of 1 divided by 1 minus x plus x square dx okay now i will uh, do some arrangements here so this is tan inverse of 1 divided by from the next two terms i can take minus x common so i will get uh, 1 minus x okay and then we have the dx okay fine no problem now i want to write uh, something which is in the denominator in numerator so how can i do that i can write this as 0 to 1 tan inverse of in numerator i can write 1 minus x minus of the second term which is minus x divided by 1 minus x multiplied by 1 minus x now what i have done this is clearly of the form tan inverse x minus y divided by 1 plus xy which we all know is tan inverse x minus tan inverse y okay so if i can write this as 0 to 1 this can be written as tan inverse 1 minus x minus tan inverse minus x dx now we all know that for any uh, real number we can write tan inverse minus x as minus of tan inverse x okay so this minus sign can come out and we can separate the integrals also so i can write 0 to 1 tan inverse 1 minus x dx this uh, minus uh, will come out and we can write this as plus 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx now there is another property in definite integration that uh, 0 to a f of x dx is same as 0 to a f of a minus x dx so i will use that property for the first integral and I can write the first integral as 0 to 1 tan inverse 1 minus I can replace this x by 1 minus x dx plus 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx now if you look at this carefully the first integral is nothing but 1 minus 1 plus x so 1 1 will get cancelled this is uh, same as tan inverse x so 0 to 1 tan inverse x and this will be 2 times so 2 times 0 to x tan inverse x let's uh, move to the next page so I have my integral which was let's say i as 0 2 times of 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx so from the idea of indefinite integration we can solve this by using integration by parts 
what I can do is write this as tan inverse x into 1 dx. Now if I use integration by part, so according to I late rule, which one you don't know the integration? This, this one. So let this be the first function. Let this be the second function. So i equals to let 2 be outside first function as it is integration of second function. So that is x okay, minus integration of derivative of uh, first function. So that is 1 upon 1 plus x square into integration of second function. So integration of 1 is again x dx. Okay. And uh, limits uh, will be everywhere or you can finally put limit here that is from 0 to 1. Okay. So i equals to 2 times of x tan inverse x. Now in this if I write uh, this x here and multiply by 2 and simultaneously divide by 2. So you can see that if you take denominator as t, 1 plus x square as t, then obviously 2x dx will become dt. So 2x dx can be replaced by dt. So our your integral will become dt by t which is log t and t was your 1 plus x square. So this is giving you minus 1 by 2. This integral will give you, will be giving you log 1 plus x square and your limits are from 0 to 1. Now I will be putting my limits so i equals to 2 times. If I put my upper limit, so 1 tan inverse 1 minus 1 by 2 log of 1 plus 1 is 2. This is my upper limit. If I put lower limit, this term will become 0. Whatever this term, this term will become 1 by 2 log of 1 plus 0. That is 1. We all know that log of 1 is 0. So this term is also giving me 0. So i is 2 times of tan inverse 1 is pi by 4 minus log 2 divided by 2. If I take this 2 inside, I will get my i as pi by 2 minus log 2. So i is coming out to be pi by 2 minus log 2. Now look at the all the important steps once again. It was of the form cot inverse so we converted it in tan inverse so that we are more familiar with tan inverse things. Then uh, we had this formula in mind so we converted this into this formula so that this can be separated into two different integrals then this property of uh, definite integration we used so that this two integral can again be converted into one then the idea of indefinite integration that two integration by parts this was the first and this was the second function we solved it applied the limits got the final answer as pi by 2 minus log 2 so i hope you understood this uh, question thanks and have a very nice day